presentation. Now, let me give the uh, word to Professor Sisuk from the same institute, Institute of Physical Chemistry of uh, Vizarzewski. He'll talk about the photo polymerization and a composite material for information technologies of printing and instrumentation. So we will uh, present the work that was done in the, in the Institute of Physical Chemistry uh, with participation of uh, Institute of Macromolecular Compounds. The main product in this uh, thing is the creation of a new highly effective uh, photopolymeric materials to obtain the protective, decorative, informational pictures in printing, radio, microelectronics, and instrument building. To create such materials, um, we defined as a prospect of organosilicon modifiers, which can manage optical properties of materials and their electroconductive, heat conductive, adhesion characteristics, and so on. Uh, such nanocomposite materials, they uh, represent a new class of photopolymer products with controlled properties that can significantly expand the field of application and they can improve technological processes of printing, um, instrument building, they can improve the quality of these industries such as print, the packaging, um, chips. Um, uh. So the this uh, technology is based on oligomeric organo um, silicon modifiers with other nanoscale particles that can change the properties and the structure of the polymer coating. And you can see the figure here. This is the average schematic of creating the structured photopolymer materials. Um, when treated uh, with ultraviolet. The technology of creation and use of such materials includes the technical regulations of synthesis of um, the silicon organic oligomeric modifiers that can uh, interact with oligomeric products and this choice of initiators which correspond to the UV emitting devices that are used in printing and the necessary photochemical characteristics with the ability of direct regulation of various properties. And Currently, there's no domestic developments in the industry of Ukraine. We mostly use imported materials. Compared with uh, M foreign our materials are characterized by a complex of uh, uh, rheological strength and deformation properties for use in such production processes providing um, the light sensitivity they are very good for produ producing the packaging the exposure time can be three to five seconds, depending on the the, com the composite materials. And you can see here the printing prototypes, photopolymer forms, stamps, and circuits. 
uh, photopolymer adhesives uh, for packaging allows to use them on high-speed printing machines. So they are used with uh, deformational properties and use of, uh, in such technological process and providing the necessary electroadhesive materials and materials will enable to improve their quality and redundancy of using optic electronics uh, chips and devices. So this is all labeling, the packaging, different templates, and uh, uh, gloss coatings. So as a result, the quality of the material is increased and uh, the scope of application, potential application is uh, broadened. It's also interesting to use these materials as photo adhesives for photo print and packaging. And it allows to replace the hot foil printing and to use a cold printing instead. Here you can see the product which is printed with developed photo adhesives with a cold uh, foil stamping on one of the Lviv uh, polygraph uh, centers. This method is used and it gains popularity among the print specialists. It allows for a lot of uh, advantages. You can use uh, light and temperature sensitive materials. You don't have to create uh, engraved stamps. The materials and the technology allows for very high speed printing. And um, there's an economic feasibility, especially for smaller batches of labels. And it's uh, quite easily controllable. Also, the materials that are developed, they improve the photochemical and chemical properties, allow it to use as uh, optical glues to connect ceramics and optoelectronic devices. They can replace the existing epoxy adhesives. And we can see that these materials can be used in in printing and uh, optoelectronics, and they can be compared with existing materials. And in the printing, or right now, mostly the foreign materials are used, and you can, we've compared to them, our materials have a very high light sensitivity. Um, the silicon organic modifiers improve adhesion to synthetic films, for instance, polypropylene, which is widely used, and um, it is efficient when using the packaging of, of elasticity is also used, is also increased. Optoelectronics, if we use traditional epoxy adhesives and glues, they polymerize for 48 hours and they're very brittle. Whereas these new materials and exposure time is about five seconds, and they're elastic, which is very important for gluing together the optoelectronic devices. And the main achievements. Um, the improvement of the technological processes, protection, better protection of uh, products, better packaging, which allows for higher redundancy and reliability of the operation of optoelectronic devices. And the use of such materials in the industry 
reads, uh, leads to re reduced industrial production cost, energy cost, and leads to increased production efficiency and product quality. The economic visibility of these materials is presented here, where the replace of uh, expensive imported materials, ability to improve technological processes for their use, um, increased interest and demand into light sensitive materials and printing and device building, high tech. And in other sectors of economy, such materials are used the wiring, the light industry, the excise labeling, the interest papers. The further areas of our work, we will complete the nanocomposite materials by modifying them for using specific technologies. We will carry out um, a te tests or taste runs in terms of their application. We will optimize uh, the composite materials during their operation and develop the scientific and technical documentation as to their use and design. And other proposals. Our investors stress the help to procure the necessary components and um, provide methods of uh, entrance controls and ready products, support uh, when producing the test batches, and they asked us to develop the design literature, how to use certain type of technologies. The main uh, advantages for developers is the innovation production, financial um, um, opportunities for further developments, and improved uh, technical and uh, material basis. For investors, the advantages and benefits is profit from the introduction of and prospective scientific research, and for consumers, the benefit is getting um, getting uh, the hold of new high quality material that will improve the technical, environmental, and economic performance. The main markets that um, we're oriented is uh, quite wide the various printing, the labeling, the ad advertisement, the electronic chips and devices. We did a uh, small analysis of the market in Ukraine. Um, 18 to 20 tons of polymer coatings produced per month. About 100 um, companies that produce printing use the photopolymer stamp stamps. The demand um, for optoelectronics on average is up to 1,000 kilograms per year. And then we have uh, counted about 10 to 12 such companies. What are the obstacles, financing, the finding the enterprises, uh, the consumers, and uh, the uh, equipment with uh, necessary control equipment, monitoring equipment, investments will be allocated to designing the documentation. Uh, procurement of uh, components and necessary raw materials. The use of materials will lead to changes on the market implementation. It will cut down the time of uh, shipments of imported materials, will make uh, the process of uh, material use cheaper, it will lead to modernization of technologies of uh, printing, the packaging, will increase and broaden the scope of um, products and the quality will be improved. And implementation of, the, of these materials will lead to increase in the printing industry segment and other industries connected with it. And as a conclusion, implementation of these materials will lead to increased segment uh, poly of uh, printing industry and all the connected industries. And as well as the emergence of new technologies for production of optoelectronic devices. And here are the contacts for us. Yeah. 
Thank you. Who have questions, please? I would like to advise you to talk with Elena Fesenko. She recently met in Greece. There was a small company. And they were interested in technologies for print. So you should talk to her and she'll give you all the necessary contacts of interesting stakeholders. Questions, please? Microphone. The uh, adhesive for gluing the optoelectronics. I'd like to have a comparative characteristics, comparative analysis uh, with epoxy adhesive. Optoelectronics, to glue the crystals, of, uh, the epoxy adhesive is used, or epoxy glue. Uh, how and what uh, I understand that your that your adhesives are stronger, but what is what about its uh, elasticity? The strength is increased uh, by how by how many fold? Epoxy glues are strong as well, but they are brittle, and every elastic deformation. The scratch resistance, as far as we checked, is the is the best. Uh, an an important uh, comp an important property of the glue is um, the thermal expansion. How does it look with this property in your materials? You have to so t the temperature range because uh, whether it expands this wide or this small. This is the, the most important for these adhesives. So in your materials, that are very well polymerizing, and but what is the temperature range? Range for uh, the temperature resistance in optoelectronic adhesives. Well, our research is ongoing. Photoadhesives, um, coatings, and stems. Optoelectronics, we also uh, have been doing tests as far as uh, thermal resistance and all mechanic uh, properties. And could we have samples from you? Yeah. We cooperate with the Institute of Physics with uh, Professor Maslov. And they have tested and they are quite satisfied. Okay, but they, they have a completely different technology of uh, adhesion, but still very interesting. And we also work with Ivana Frankivsk. There are other um, developers who are interested in the glue like this. Okay, there's a question to you, Valentina, from the internet, from uh, the University of Tartu. The question is what is the length, the wavelength that was used uh, in the UV treatment and um, the rate that you used for photopolymerization and whether you have patented. There are patents, we have, uh, and there's one positive solution, this uh, decision, yes, and the the wavelength, which is a very uh, interesting question. For printing, the industrial equipment has its modules. And they are oriented at a wavelength of 384 or 400 nanometers, whereas optical wavelength is uh, 116 nanometers. So we are selecting the photo initiators and all oligomeric all components. My question is to the um, raw materials, whether all the uh, organic raw materials is available in Ukraine, or do we need to build um, a factory that would, uh, or are you planning to buy it, import it? We, we buy it in Ukraine, as far as, um, uh, 
Uh, there are companies in Lviv and in Kiev that would be able to use these materials. Okay, thank you.